Hello everyone, welcome back to the Tarot Tanvi. I am Tanvi, this is my studio, these are my tarot cards and this is your weekly prediction for the week July 4th to July 10th for water signs. So water signs include Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. So, uh, for, and, uh, so yeah, so before I go on and pull your cards, I would just like to say that in case you do not know what your moon sign and your rising signs are, you can just Google them and there, there, are, you sh there, there are certain calculators on Google that you can definitely try. They're almost accurate. I mean, sometimes they can, you know, be a little here and there, but usually they are. Uh, all right. <laughs> yeah, so you can definitely check out your moon and your rising sign from the internet and check out your sun, moon and rising sign, all three to get a more personalized reading and suggestions for this week. So uh, let's get started with Cancer. Hello Cancer, so uh, welcome to your weekly prediction for the week July 4th to July 10th. So for your oracle cards, we have opportunity of windfall with carrot. Then we have the star, which is a major arcana. Then we have the ten of swords and we have the five of wands. So I feel like there are a lot of uh, competitive opportunities which you've been wishing for. Uh, you know, it's like uh, I, was, I was listening to somebody and somebody said that, you know, after you get one thing, there will be more things that you would want after get that specific opportunity. So the example that I'm getting in my head is like, for example, somebody applied for, uh, you know, just getting an interview for a job. So they just applied for a job and they're hoping for, you know, just uh, an interview to be scheduled. And now they got the interview. So like, it's like a wish fulfillment that they got the application back or they got some sort of an acceptance. And now the next step is that you have to compete with other people, you have to give the interview. But I feel like competition is such a false word because there's no really such thing as competition and comparisons because everybody is unique and never ever ever take any kind of rejection personally. I'm not so sure if like, you know, I'm not saying that you, you will definitely be rejected. It's of course, it's, it's as per your abilities. But of course, I keep this in mind that in life, if anything, uh, if you term as rejection, is not because of you. Rejection is never to be taken personally. It's probably, you know, even in terms of relationships, if you somebody does not accept the kind of love that you give out, it's because, you know, that is not the kind of love that they are looking for. So don't take it personally. It's not like an attack on, on your abilities that you are not good enough. At the same time, there's also a quote that's coming into my head that rejection is divine protection. So anything that does not work out, is not working out so that better things can find you. Sometimes people have to, you know, face rejection so that they work harder on themselves and then become even better and they get land up on even better jobs. Uh, yeah, like I, I just feel like saying this that in my personal life, uh, I think the goals that I had even at the beginning of my year, I think they've completely changed and I don't feel like, uh, you know, wishing for those goals to be coming true like it's all right if they do but like I feel like now I have different goals and the same is for every single year that has been going on in my personal life but the same happens for most people as well this is how you grow this is how you learn that the things that you're hoping for and attaching to and you're not getting it's not happening because it's not meant for you so start looking for other doors so I also feel like with the windfall and opportunity I feel like there will be an abundance of opportunities coming to you. This, if you think that there's only one opportunity meant for you, a one way out meant for you, that's not true. But once you are open to finding better opportunities is exactly when you will look for more opportunities, which are way better than what you could have ever imagined and expected. So that's all that I have for you for this week, Cancer. I hope that this was helpful in some way and it made some sense. And I'm gonna see you again next time. Please don't forget to check out your sun, moon and rising sign as well. Hello Scorpio, so welcome to your weekly prediction for the week July 4th to July 10th. So your cards are actually super beautiful. So uh, for your oracle card, we have dealings or relationship with a younger woman. And uh, then we have the 10 of cups. We have the 10 of pentacles. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like this week you'll be feeling emotionally and financially fulfilled. There of course could be a woman, a younger woman could be like a younger sister or like a friend who's younger to you. 
mostly a woman yeah or or a, a man who's like younger like maybe just energetically or mentally they're younger but like they're more feminine and more you know uh, just like more gentle yeah so i feel like but for most of you i feel like this is a younger sister or a younger sibling or i don't know somebody uh, who's going to be of extreme of, of like a younger cousin as well so uh, who could be like extremely helpful uh, to you this week with the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles i feel like you're headed towards the utmost happiness ah so this is like extreme happiness in terms of your emotional fulfillment and extreme happiness in terms of your financial status this could also mean like you know finding stable happy family life i could i'm also seeing for most of you is that like if you're already in a relationship this could be like whatever stage you are in your relationship like like life in terms of your romantic relationships you're reaching the next step this week even in terms of your family and your friends relationships are sort of improving this week onwards majorly drastically and out of nowhere and out of the blue i feel like wherever you are if you're completely single this could mean like somebody you finding somebody who with whom you can have like long term happiness long term family if you're already married with a beautiful partner you can like be thinking about the, taking the next next step maybe having a baby planning a baby or something like that i feel like this is just so happy but at the same time although we have all these cards which speak about you know other people your family getting love and support from everybody else finding your community finding just utmost happiness and peace from all these sides i feel like you also have the 9 of pentacles which talks about extreme independence this is a woman who doesn't need anybody and you can be of course of any gender and any sexual orientation but in this specific card this this talks about you know a person who's just happy with what uh, this person has they're very happy where they are they're very happy with what they have and they just like even though they have so much support it's not like they are in those relationships out of uh the, that intention of needing emotional validation needing uh, you know support and you know somebody else should take care of me it's like you are able to take care of yourself that is why this and 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 you have so many people who are uh, you know whole in themselves and you all form come together and create this beautiful life together so that's all that i have for you for this week scorpio this is very beautiful i hope i wish you a wonderful week ahead and uh please don't forget to check out the sun moon and rising sign as well hello pisces so welcome to your weekly prediction for the week july 4 to july 10th so for your oracle card we have needle and thread and sincere wish will be granted but this was in the reverse um we have the queen of pentacles we have the knight of cups and we have the temperance in the reverse okay so i have a, a message for specific certain people which would not be for all of you but if you are like sort of like uh wanting to get into a relationship or you know just in the talking stages i feel like you need to be very mindful of the fact pisces that maybe you might have a tendency to settle for less so you know if you don't uh, settle for of course like this depends on what kind of a relationship you are looking for because there are so many people uh who would want to be a parent in a romantic relationship you know i hope it's making sense for example uh usually a romantic relationship has to be about two equals coming together but i feel like this is also you know oversold sometimes for some people they want somebody to take care of them they don't want to be an equal to them or they want somebody they can dominate so it's it's an extremely personal choice but at the same time if you are looking for a partner who's equal to you who is independent who is uh, you know uh, happy on their own then you have to stop settling for people who are not like that because with the knight of cups and the queen of pentacles the queen of pentacles is a lady of course you can be of any sexual orientation or any gender uh, for this to resonate but uh, the queen of pentacles is a very financially and like mentally stable person um, and she's just like she's very happy on her own and the knight of cups is like sort of like a younger energy and kind of immature kind of immature when it comes to when it comes in comparison to the queen of pentacles 
um yeah so i just feel i just felt like saying that because with the temperance in the reverse i feel like there's a sense of impatience you know many people say that you know age is running away so you should get married we might while we're growing up in this uh, world <laughs> we might hear such things but that's so not true if you know it's like that your reason to be getting into a relationship or a friendship or being in staying in a relationship or a friendship should be about the fact that you feel happier when you are with them you it's like it's it's not like you feel happy only when you are with them and when you are without them you just are sad but it should be like uh, you should be happy on your own and when you have another person you get you feel happy uh okay so that's such an important thing to be taken care of with the sincere wish will not be granted i feel like you're wishing for things that are not meant for you so before wanting every wish that we make to be granted make sure that you're making right wishes all right yeah so that's all that i have for you for this week uh, pisces i hope that this was helpful in some way made some sense and please don't forget to check out your sun moon and rising sign as well